Kulaba from way down in Mississippi. Um, I'm the founder of PartyInTheArtRoom.com, but I'm also a content specialist and a coach with the Institute for Arts Integration and STEAM. And today, I want to share with you a, one of my favorite, favorite art lessons that I've ever, ever done. I have taught this anywhere from to adults to art at art camps. I've done it with students in classes of 40 kids. Um, so this is also something you can do at home, and I'm going to tell you why. This lesson, all you need is some junk that would normally end up in the trash. And we'll talk about those things in just a minute. But we're going to make a jellyfish. And these, just so you know, these look really good hanging in the window because the sun, they're translucent, so the sunlight, or transparent, and the sunlight will show through. So they make great sun catchers. All right, guys, we're going to make a jellyfish out of things that come from the trash. And the main things that you're going to need are some kind of adhesive, tape or glue. Um, school glue will work, but it's going to take a while to dry. So if you use it if you have to, but if you had a hot glue gun, that would work. Or any kind of tape works really well. You're going to need something to add color with. It could be, these are paint sticks that came from Dollar General. Um, you could use crayons. You're going to also, you could also use Sharpies or um, any kind of permanent marker. You can use non-permanent markers but you've got to let them dry the other things you're going to need are things that come out of your trash can so i have a, the dollar general bag that i bought those art supplies in and then i have this plastic cup that had applesauce in it so you could use this but you could also you could use like the cut part of jello you could probably use um I have this bottle of antacid and I'll peel the rest of the label off of it. I could use that and take, I'd have to take the lid off of it too, but any kind of container that's small that normally would go in the trash, that's plastic, you could probably find something out of paper and that's clear or either clear or light enough that you can color on it. Those are the things you need for this project and a pair of scissors. Okay, so what we're going to do to start is we're going to take that cup, that plastic part, and this is going to be the jellyfish's body. Now, there's all kinds of ways you could do this. If you have acrylic paint at home, you could paint this with the acrylic paint. That would probably be the most op opaque option, or you could use um, temper paint. I have mixed liquid watercolor and glue before. To do it, I've used glitter, you could use glitter glue to paint it. You could paint it with anything. Um, but if you don't have paints at home, which we were about to get in a bind at my house because I'm an artist and an art teacher, but all of my art supplies are at my office and none of them are here. So I had to write, as soon as I found out we were going to have to start staying at home, I had to make a run and get a few little art supplies for my kids. So since I know that most people are in that position, I'm going to use crayons for this. Now, this is going to be very, very light, but you can color on this plastic with a crayon and you can get um, a very transparent layer of color on there. You can use any colors you want to. I want a, something green. <clears throat> it's very light, but the color is there. So like I said, this might not be your favorite option of how you would want to do this if this was normal life instead of stay-at-home life. But it will work. And most of us have at least some crayons at home. And the most important part of this to color is going to be around the edge, but you could also color the top. Something else that works really good for this are if you go if you're someone that goes to Sonic, which I know we're supposed to be staying home right now, but 
if you ever want to do this and you have been to Sonic and you have those clear plastic tops that come on the ice cream, those work really good. They have a hole cut in the top, but you can still do it with those. Okay, so got some color. Now, okay, the next step is to take that Dollar General bag and cut it into strips. I recommend between four and six strips. This is, you know, the length of the bag. It's, I don't know, maybe 12 inches long is about how long it ends up being. Um, just cut it into strips. And I have done this with kids many, many times. And I know that they have a hard time cutting the strips as straight as I did because this is plastic and it's, it tears. So it's okay if they're different lengths. It's okay if they're different widths. And it's okay if the edges are jagged. It's, it just doesn't matter. Um, it, any of it will work. So I like, I have this Dollar General bag and it is already yellow. But if, if this bag were white, I could, I will tell you, you can paint these plastic bags. It's messy, but it can be done. Um, right now, I'm putting some marks on it with the paint stick. Those are really light because my paint stick is also about the same color as the bag. But that could work. Um, markers. You can add details to this with markers. You could add anything that you have that will add color. You can paint on this if it needs time to dry. Like if you use something that's really wet or if your markers need time to dry, just give it a couple of hours and come back to it. But my bag was yellow, so I don't feel like I have to put all those details on it, but it is an option. So then you're going to take these strips and you're going to take that adhesive. And I have tape. And you're just going to tape them to the inside of your jellyfish. And again, it doesn't, this doesn't have to be perfect. I've got art supplies in my fingernails. Y'all see that? That's crayon, life of an art teacher. Okay, I'll show you how this all looks when you get it put together in just a minute. But tape your strips to the inside. Okay, while I'm taping this last strip of plastic bag. I want to talk about some, um, I've been kind of talking about alternatives this whole time, but one alternative to using the plastic bags is newspaper. You could use coffee filters, uh, but you know, ones that are dry, maybe clean coffee filters, newspaper, magazine paper, anything that can be cut into strips, old t-shirts. Oh, I've done this with old t-shirts and it looks really cool. So anything that can be cut into strips, I'm, you know why I'm using this bag? Because I used this bag. This is the bag I got when I bought this applesauce and these paint sticks. I'm using, you know, upcycling big time. Okay, so now that I've got this done, I'm going to need something to hang it with. So I can take another piece of that plastic bag. And I would I recommend if you're using a plastic bag for this to cut the handle. You see this seam right here? That's the handle of the bag, and it's just a lot stronger, and it holds better. And this will be the, the thing that we're going to hang it with. So I'm going to loop, make a loop, and I'm just going to tape. I'm going to take two pieces of tape because I need to tape both ends. I'm going to take both ends like that. I'll show it to you again in just a second. Once I get the tape on there, this is talk about some fine motor skills right here. All right, now I have like a loop that I can use to hang it. Now I'm going to test it, and I don't feel that mine mine doesn't feel sturdy, so I'm going to put an extra piece of tape on it just to be safe. And now I have that loop nice and secure. So in just a second, I'm going to show you what the whole thing looks like. But I want to remind you, if you're using regular school glue, it's going to take a long time for this to dry. And it's and be generous with the glue. Don't be stingy with that glue. Because what you're doing is you're trying to add, you're trying to adhere plastic to plastic. Um, it might not take as long if you were doing paper to plastic. 
but the plastic to plastic is going to take a while and it's going to be fragile if you use school glue. So if you have some tape, I would try the tape. Um, you could probably make this work also with the, just a regular stapler too. And there it is hanging up. This one's hanging outside. You can see the light shining through where we use the crayon. You can see those tentacles or the plastic bag blowing in the wind. It's really cute. It's really fun and they look great hanging in the window too. So that was this pretty simple, really inexpensive art project. And what I love about it is it's just so open-ended. You can make other animals out of that junk. I love it because it's just junk. It's not, you don't have to go buy anything. It's just the most basic glue and then junk that came out of the trash can that I cleaned. So I hope that you can do this lesson at home while you're stuck at home. Um, I'm going to do it with my girls and I hope that you enjoyed it and it was so great to spend some time with you. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>